When it rains, it snores. Like a rare breed, a breath of fresh air, you can see me. People stand up just to greet me. Role model kids want to be me. It's all about the risk. If anyone pays taxes, it's instant pay. The whole thing was easy. What? Just come and wink my eye like a genie. Seven. I don't know, yellow oh, no. peasant can king me. I'm gonna die. Fuck the semantics. Fuck taxes. Revolt. Revolt, everybody. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Nickel City X Wing. My name is Greg, and we have got three giant games for you tonight. This first one between the Wolf Pack and the Firebirds. First, representing the Wolf Pack. It's William, a.k.a. Savoir, and representing the Firebirds. It's Andre, the team captain. Where does this series stand? Anywhere? It's one nothing Firebirds, and I'm joined in the booth now. By Captain of Team Havoc, Crispy, and Captain of Team NJO, him, who's on mute, so he might not be talking. No, he's I'm not mute. on mute anymore. He's off mute. Repeat, uh, him is courtesy. off mute. It's a courtesy. I mute when you're talking. I don't want to, you know, have any uh, ambient noise talking over you. I want to mute so we can all hear your beautiful voice. Colfax, you for that one. Colfax. You doll, Colfax. Yeah, Greg said that is looking fresh. I was going to say something, but Colfax beat me to it. So far. Betting is open. This is a new month. Now, you said these are giant games. I hope these are giant games and not games like the Giants play. We're also be in for a bad night. I don't know why Sykes catching strays three minutes into the stream, but okay. Colfax, thank you for the resub. And thank you, everyone who subbed during the open. Coin flip says Sevwall. So, I mean, coin flip says Sevwall, but also the last three seasons say Sevwall. No, just the coin flip. Nothing else. <laughs> just the coin flip. Uh, Sherman, once again, being an asshole to me. It's fine. I don't have feelings. See, that's why he does it, because you don't have feelings. If you had feelings, you wouldn't Good do point. that. Yeah, good point, good point. My bad. I thought uh, about it that way. I know it's only been like a week, right? But uh it feels like forever. I know. It was a long hiatus and now we're back. And uh nothing feels quite the same anymore. Everyone have a nice little mid season break. Anyone do anything fun? Yeah, caught bronchitis. That's fun. Everyone needs to write an uh, essay what I did during my draft league midseason break. Yeah, right. I was I was looking forward to a great break. I had plans. And I was like, well. So much oh, for that. Chris moved. Nice. Congratulations. Baby. Chris, where'd you I'm move? Moving. Put your address in the in the chat. <laughs> Dox yourself. I, uh, as your captain, I advise you don't dox yourself. No, no, don't listen to him. He doesn't have, don't he doesn't have your best interest. Don't listen. Look at where Havoc is right now. Is that who you want to follow? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying we're up 1-0 on the hot shots. Hey, That's you true. know what Crispy did? You know what Crispy did during his break? Stop he the stepped cow. on the jellyfish. I did not. Oh my gosh. This, <laughs> this completely false story. What? <laughs> the whole store was interested in this, by the way. We were at a, I was yeah, at a store championship this weekend. Yeah, I know. I, I, I got some very concerned people. A lot of people were, were worrying about All me. 16 players were like, is Crispy okay? No reason at all. Brad just lied. Just flat out lied to Cox. And then Cox told my sister, and then my sister went, he what? And then got the whole store involved. Okay, first off, stepping on jellyfish, not that big a deal. 
It's not like Frank a freak out moment. Day. That's how he wakes up in the morning. Just steps on jellyfish. Is it gonna sting your foot? Sure. Is it gonna be pleasant? Nah. It's gonna be fine though. I did it once or twice when I was a kid. Yeah. Now look at you. Wait. I'm fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, is Correlation is not equal <laughs> causation? Hold up. This is a chance engagement. If you didn't figure it out by the one fucking thing in the middle. <laughs> really? I think for you they just forgot to get the other ones out. Honestly, it's a salvage mission, but they just... It's a salvage mission, but we decided that we're just going to blow up all the other salvage... It's going to be one. Oh, I don't have that much money. Just bet two all. I'm going for the big bet here. I think everyone's... Uh, 200. I only have 200. I just subbed. Get wrecked. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Get wrecked. Oh, well. Let's see. Let's scroll up. Maybe you owed money. Oh, well, that happens. You know, added 2,000 nickels to Yellow Jacket Pim. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the list, uh, on the top here at 2135. That's weird. Yeah, I see 2200. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. Yeah, I don't know what's up. I don't feel like troubleshooting anything right now. I've had a hard yeah, enough time know. troubleshooting that fucking trivia game. That thing is awesome, by the way. I love that. See now a that I... droid out. Sorry. Go yeah, ahead. well, that's how they, that's how thingy jams, right? Like you can jam with the probe droid. Yes, you can jam from. You can measure range when you jam or lock from the probe droid, and that's for uh, everyone on your list, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a friendly ship locks or an object or jams an enemy ship can measure range from you. You being the probe droid. It's pretty neat. Don't see them very often nowadays because it just takes that extra turn to kind of set up. You don't want to engage to till, till turn. Both three, thing is, you're is usually common. engaging turn two, so there's like exactly. no point yeah. to it anymore, really. Yeah, and it's one of those upgrades that kind of died with the way the playstyle changed. But I could see it being useful like here, especially right. Empire's going to slow roll; they don't want to face the swarm head on. So you get maybe get a turn of a couple free locks. Yeah, also, right. with it being chance, you don't need your action for scenarios. <clears throat> Just Dom, how's it going? All the guys that are slow rolling, uh, just take locks. You got, uh, uh, who is that? 047? Who's the yellow? Uh, that would be... That yes. Oh, God, all the colors are wrong. 047, 32C can both get locks before going into the engagement. As long as someone gets into the center and doesn't die, I'm assuming that's going to be 286. Is that that rock is close? Oh wait, one may be able to turn on that rock and be close enough to the center and not die. He's the the vulture that's right uh, parallel with the probe droid at the moment. Well, they have the they have the boost or the slammy things. I'm kind of surprised they didn't slam. Yeah, I figured they may, maybe want to get a little bit of lead on. I think maybe they're afraid of Rexler. Looks like this decimator wants to go just like up the middle, which surprises me a little bit. It's a good way to limit where you can actually go. Yeah, there's not really a lane for you to go with the um, go to the towards the top of the board here. Yeah, I don't kind of have to go towards the bottom, which I don't really Andre's. like. It. I think I would have rather him jousted here, maybe a little bit. I think the weird thing is, I think Sevwal put that obstacle there too. I wouldn't think he wanted him that clustered for his decimator, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he likes the confines. Does that have trick shot on it? Oh. No. Nope. Well, no trick shot. 
be great if it did. I would like to see trick shot Desis. That seems fun. And maybe keeps fucking death troopers away from me for a little bit. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't like ruthless. Not in this list. I mean, who, I mean, you've got four ships. None of them you really want to suffer a damage on. But I guess like if you really need to kill something, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's like good, but like I hate I hate doing a damage to myself to do anything. I just hate it. Yeah. Michael Upton learned about a new bee yesterday. Was it Goon Bee? <laughs> nice. Goon Bee. Havoc Legend, by the way. Thank you. Gooby, like, joined Draft League and instantly knew the vibe and fit right in. I love it. Yeah. Iconic, really. Goonby might be the first one to, like, ever just, like, get it, like, right away. Yeah. Like, just no like, adjustment no, period I, just was like, yeah. oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's have fun. He's great. And it's that booster flipping down already. All right, well. Andre's a coward who doesn't want to slam. You're going to hear first, folks. Why bring that card? <laughs> well, it's free. It's free. Yeah, but... You never know. Yeah, it may have been useful. It wasn't here. It's got to slam into a lock action, which is pretty fun. Wow, today I learned, Michael, that the Vulture B... Deathfire kind of looks like he may be in the way of Tamox here. I guess Tamox is probably doing a one straight. I would imagine. It's a little tight if he's doing anything other than a one straight. I mean, Sevol's really good, so I guess I'm not actually concerned. But, like, I don't, there's not a lot of space for him to maneuver here. No. I mean, good or not, you just don't give yourself that many options when you have this tight of a cluster, right? Yeah. Like, sure, you may not hit the op the obstacles, but you, your opponent can also kind of figure out where you're going to be. Uh, you cannot Could hold be. on to the slam, Dom. Yeah, it is... Yeah. Hold on to yeah. It. You get three charges, you spend a charge per turn to keep it open at the end of the, the charges you have to flip it. Once it's flipped, you can't flip it again. It's just like a setup thing. Essentially, but... That's a cool card for getting to good positions pretty quick. I'm sure he would love to take locks here, but I think you have to kind of calculate. Uh, well, you might be able to lock this turn. Are you going for it? I think it's just with I Vader. Think three, right? four, Wait, three, four, three, seven four. doesn't do it, right? Because three, four, seven gets the free lock. Oh, uh, you mean oh, four, seven? What does three, four, seven do? Three, three four, seven. Start of the engagement, you get a lock on a oh. object. Yeah, well, yeah, well, he's yeah, anyways. well, I guess it's not range. He's he's assuming that, I guess, uh, the, the Dauntless may not be at range 1 to 3. Of what? Well, yeah. I mean, he'll be he'll be at range 1 to 3 at the start of the engagement phase, right? Like, there's yeah, no for yes, sure. This could just be a forgotten trigger on Andre's part. He's got 17,000 ships, so. Well, it's, it's Vader proofing, right? The calculates, like, the... Yeah. If I knew I was facing Empire right now, I would definitely be... Uh, trying to bring independent just to get that. Why not? Why isn't yeah. thirty two C locking though? See, yeah, that 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 seems like the opposite. You'd want thirty two C locking to set up the plasma torp on rack, which is really also strong. look how look how fucking close to Moxus to death fire. That's got to be planned. Whenever nice someone does something like that, yeah. I'm like, they probably practice this. That is either planned or really fortunate. I given it several, I'm going to assume it's planned, but. Either way, that is good. Good positioning right there for them. Independent becomes risky with Death Troopers. That is also true. There's but also, also no I mean, there's it's no just indie just take one calculate to not take a damage. Yeah. There, no, there's no indie calc in this list. Right. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I'm if I'm playing yeah. Empire right now, that's what I'm going for, just because of how prevalent the Decimator yeah. is. Yeah. At, at this point, like it, it's it's actively pushing me away from anything that wants to stress. 
Just the, the prevalence of Vader and Death Troopers, man. It's crazy. So Rex is going to get a uh, evade here. And I don't think Rex wants to boost, but yeah, I'm not going to. You boost, you're taking pod shots from a couple ships. Yeah, you probably don't want that. Just token up. The All flax right. are going to lock, right? I mean, uh, they're not in any danger. No reason not to. Probably. All right, I got to run to practice. I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I would just take locks on rack here. I, I'm really surprised if that's... Th oh, 32C calculated for the coordinate. <clears throat> Wait, no, he doesn't have that ability. Wait a minute. I'm thinking the other. I'm thinking the non-standard loadout 32C. Yeah, why did he do that? Probably just didn't remember. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone else is locking. That's the weird thing, right? It's like everyone else locks. He's got a plasma torp. Why don't you? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like everyone else locks, so he probably just did it as well. Like, no, no, the um, the, the hyena that calculated in the back. Yeah, but With yeah, they the all have torp. networked. Remember, so like. The hyena wasn't I... going to get a plasma torp this turn. That wasn't. Ever I know, but you happen. save it. But you save it for next turn, where you can calculate and then jam with the probe droid using the uh, ship ability or the pilot ability, I guess. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I'm All right, to Rack going to choose the target. It would be five defense dice if we went into three, four, seven. And... I think three, four, seven's at range one of the blue, probably, but not at range one of the. Yeah, I think that's other, why the blue... hyena. I think that's why the blue and the other one yeah. calculated to support. Yeah, the blue calc seems good. I think you just shoot for DGS here. Um, no, Innkeeper, you do not need to remove <coughs> token from Rexler if you check with Vader. Vader is only... Uh... It's enemy ships. I believe. No, it's not. It's actually one ship. But no, you can check before you pay the force. It's, it's, they, it's not pay a force, then you have to do it. It's check to see if yeah. their ship's in range, then you can choose to do it. That was ruled in the forum a while ago. Oh, Rack with uh, hit it crit. Yeah, who knew? Could be spooky. Could be spooky. Oh my Ooh, gosh! It is spooky. Two crits. Here we go. And it's Fuel leak. And just Rack one shots DIS. See ya. <coughs> Well, there ends that debate about whether or not DIS should do anything. <laughs> All the talk in the world, it does not matter. I know Discord for uh, the old Tri-Fighter there. The... Not even gonna Tri-Fighter. Not even gonna Tri-Fighter. Gonna just go ahead and close that now. <coughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, this is just a plasma torp, just for the extra die, I guess. Suck it. Gosh, I'm missing my... Uh, I get Does two get rerolls. Two build. rerolls. Yeah, plenty of plenty of locks on that for uh, networked aim. Is that what it's called? It is what it's called. Yeah. Uh, reinforce. Oh, just one. Me have it. It would be one no matter what happens. So. <coughs> Energy shell into Mox. Oh, why does he get? Yeah, no extra die. Will trying to cheat. Uh, is it just an eyeball? Bits. Yeah, it's cool. just an eyeball you can spend to make a crit. Yeah, wasn't sure what it was going to spend a. Oh, oh, and the classic fucking. This is just confirmation bias, but Thai bombers roll double evades more than any other ship I've seen with two agility. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I swear to like. Complete contra confirmation bias, but it just seems to always be like, yeah, double evades. Yeah, we'll spend the calculate, avoid any other damage there. So one tri fighter dead, 
And you get one shield. Hopefully, you got range two in the center, and you do have range yeah. two. So, one point each. We head into turn three. The score is currently so if you William H. 4, house, Andre 1 in round 3. And jam, uh, uh, jam with uh, 32C next turn, which could be huge against Rack. <coughs> well, the, uh, 32C closer. has to move first. Yeah, just you can move the probe droids, jam off the probe droid. Or you measure range from the probe droid. Yeah, but Rack has a lockout, so... Oh, does he? Yeah. Where? Oh, there it is. Ah, shoot. Well, there goes that plan. Are we launching a second probe droid? Well, you oh got to. You might as well. So much probing. Are we allowed to show that in Twitch? I won't tell if you don't. All right, there we go. Everyone be cool. Rack's just one forwarding, right? Yeah, I mean, why do anything else? <clears throat> one forward would get you shots on at least at least the hyena, I'd bet. Unless the hyena goes straight and tries to aim for Rexler. Yeah, I'm actually kind of a little surprised he didn't rotate. With the Agile? Yeah. I yeah, figure... that seems like a safer bet. I figure that 081 on the rock there would be like your target. Probably for this turn. Although, that might just be what fucking Deathfire is going to take care of this turn. Yeah, just launch a proton bomb. Get in yeah, close. What, do you, what do you do with like a three forward, launch the proton? You're probably focus. hitting the uh, HMP too. <clears throat> with the proton. I, I kind of want to see Andre go after Rexler here. I don't know if you can get enough meaningful shots on Rack this turn. I think maybe you can just kind of lay into Rexler. My thing is like... Okay, no, you're right. Rexler, I thought you were talking about Rack. Uh, no, no, I, I think Rack is like... You don't have the firepower right now because you can't get close enough with the Tri-Fighters and you just lost one. I think you just kind of... You send the, the Flax towards Rexler and you... I guess side slip DGS towards him as well, maybe get a block on like a three bank. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder if uh is that thirty two? No, oh eight one. I wonder if oh eight one's gonna come off. I, I think I, I think I'd move it too forward here. I mean move too forward. You might be able to folk uh calculate roll and like block to mox or something, depending on how fast he's coming in. He's probably too hard, never mind on that front. Yeah, I don't yeah, hate you it. You probably take a banger from Tamox, but you avoid the guaranteed I mean, damage. You're a sitting duck right now. Yeah, exactly. You got that. You know, there's a proton bomb that's about to get launched towards you, and Tamox. Tamox is going to get a lock on you and an ignition, regardless of what you do. It seems yeah. pretty clear here that that's <coughs> what we're about to see. Bombers, they have, do they have five? Five four? No, only four. They have five Ks though. Yeah. I wonder if you actually go fast and throw the bomb a little bit past the ship to give yourself a better chance of catching the the gunship as well. I wouldn't hate that. I mean, it's a launch with a three, right? Three speed? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a launch with just, a three speed. Why do you do that? Because th if the ship runs over it, doesn't it get a, to roll a die and like a eyeball kills it? Yeah, but it's now range one of Rack if you want to get that jam thing off of. Which I think he's maybe trying to get the jam and doesn't remember the lockout, because I didn't. Yeah, but it's gonna... Well, I guess. Yeah. It's weird having pro droids and Kalani in the same list. Just talking about tactical relays right now. It seems like a lot of lock-based stuff. Again, if I'm facing Empire, it's cracking all day. Yeah. I would look at Kraken or I'd even look at the one that adds evades. TV94? 
Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, see, I think I would have liked the four just to push it a little farther. I don't know if it would actually put it into gunship range, but I think you got a lot better chance. I think it there. would. Yeah, it'd be like an extra one. That would get yeah. close enough to gunship range. And I think the positioning is probably just as good. A little bit closer to... Yeah. A little bit closer to uh, 081. If, if 081 doesn't move, you're in a nice little spot to uh, just put in a banger. Yeah. Now, I think you probably focus with two dice. No way to get more dice. I think you probably just focus. Oh no, 2B94 is the one that adds a hit result. K2B4 is the one that adds the evade, unless an attacker takes a strain. I think either one of those makes more sense than Kalani if you've got probes out. Barrel roll lock. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't block a two bank from death from Tomox. I don't think it does, but they just find them really close. Oh, I like that move. That's why. I mean, roll cow. Blocks. Can he roll? Can he, I don't uh, know if he can roll. No, it doesn't get you anything from the roll. Just sit there and calc, I guess. Yeah, and you're still going to take that damage. There's no way around that, but at least you're not a sitting duck. Yeah. Next turn. I was questioning the barrel roll from Deathfire, but now it makes a lot of sense, and that's why Sevwal is uh, better than me. That's why Sevwal seems to be undefeated in this league, <clears throat> at least in yeah. regular season play, and I am not. <laughs> Turns out, things have reason. He's, going, he's oh, going for that roll. But it doesn't clear. It doesn't look like. Maybe he's just trying to get... Oh, I don't know. It does. it does. I mean, still, it doesn't do anything for you. Yeah. Actually. Maybe get range one of Tamak so he can't missile you, but that doesn't really help you at this point. Yeah. It's a weird position to be in. If nope, anything, this is going to help Death Troopers if you do survive. Yeah, Death Troopers are about to be real, real pain in the ass. Talk about a card that just real MPE energy. <clears throat> all all the Empire crew are just awful MPEs. Except Pal. Yeah. I mean, even Pal can be like, oh, I finally shooting the ship with no mods. Just kidding. I have a mod. Alright, I'm going to list the wholesome Empire crew. Captain Hark. Execute a red maneuver, gain a focus token. He's got never, two charges. Never once played. Maybe on a Lambda, maybe on a fucking Reaper, but never played. Sienna Re. After you coordinate, you can uh, get, give that ship a stress or can Has rotate. Has never once it. been used. Nope, but it's wholesome. Tarkin is fine. <coughs> Tarkin's cool, but still never used. Krennic was used a lot. Not anymore, but Krennic's okay too. Minister 2 is fine. If you're damaged, you can do a red reinforce at the start of the engagement phase. That's fine. Callus is fine. Hunted. Callus used to show up on rack. Ooh, friendly bump. A lot of these cards used to show up on rack. Yeah. And then there was Death Troopers. Gar Saxon. We're a friendly, we're a friendly unit at range 1 to 3 with an initiative 4 or lower performs an attack against the defender you have locked. The attacker may change one eyeball to a hit result. That's a lot of clarifiers. Seems fine. Man, I miss uh, Jared Gerard because Jared Gerard is fine. Ben is the only person who ever flew Jared Gerard. But goddamn, was it cool when you see like a Desi boosting. Or like a Lambda boosting it. Oh, great. Yeah. All right. Let's um, get the roll. I believe it's an eyeball that would kill this little probe thing. Uh, don't think that. I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah just sure. an eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> if you see it, it dies. It's kind of funny. But Good Seven Sister not wholesome. Yeah. Darth Vader not wholesome. Palpatine is fine, I guess. Grand Inquisitor's fine. After a ship know. reveals its dial. After an enemy ship at range zero to two reveals its dial, you may spend one force to perform one white action on your action bar, treating that action as red. Ben used to run that on his like super rack builds, like had like five actions a turn. With like two uh, and other stuff. And of course, Admiral Sloan, which is not wholesome. Mm, 
Surprise blue didn't barrel roll. <laughs> Is it a barrel roll evade? I guess you want that you want networked and you want that extra mod, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I don't love not going in on Rack here. Or not on uh, Rex. I think Rex you could have maybe killed. There's the crit into 081, and it is a blinded pirate. Shut up, Dom. It's not all fine and wholesome. You know it. It's all fine and wholesome. It is not fine and wholesome. Disagree. Unfine and unwholesome. Boosting Space Cows is quite excellent. I hope if the Lambda gets re-released, they give it some kind of config to fix its dial. Yeah, worst style ever. Just let it like stop and rotate if you have to. I don't care. Just give it something. Uh, gonna bait her. Yeah, and just say F U to 286. Prevents the Discord missile, which is kind of a tough call here. I think I just take the shield. I think you're, yeah, I think you really want a Discord rack, right? Yeah. Yeah. You really want a Discord rack and just. No, he can't get that off. Unless he, like, parks it in front of a rock or something. Hopefully it fits. That's a great question. Well, yeah, it'll fit out the back. Well, maybe. Does it count overlaps with probe droids? Or just enemy ships? I don't know. Uh, zombie troopers would be like a... Um, they get like that one stalwart or stalwart cap in, in uh, Epic where it's after you destroyed, you get to stay around and engage at initiative zero. <clears throat> That's what I would do. Kind of make it warthoggy. Oh, it doesn't fit there, so it has to go out the back. No, no, it does. Oh, it's so close. It fits. There's there space. space. There's space. Photographic evidence of it fitting right here on stream. Uh, Rack can't shoot it. I guess Tomox can shoot it, but you're not going to... Probably not shooting it with Tomox. You want to kill this uh, Vulture, right? I think I would shoot it with Tomox, honestly. Because that's going to be there for the rest of the game. Would have been different IRL. What do you mean? Oh yeah, a hundred percent, Jimo. I agree. Because you're you're super clumsy. You don't have computer precision. No oh, way that fits in real life. Yeah, you would hit it, bumped it. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it doesn't, you have to put it out the back unless it overlaps the probes, and you can't overlap with the probes. But I don't know. All right, it's gonna be another shield onto the red gunship. It's like a B-wing. Always rolls of aid. So we need it. <clears throat> Doesn't help. Max one agility is going to attack. Uh, 081. Only one. One big old hit. 081 rolls out of that. Not bad. Rexler. He's got a nice little banger on this tri fighter here. I think you just keep laying in the red. Mm, you got four dice in the tri fighter. I think you take the four dice in the tri fighter. All right. <clears throat> one shot try. <laughs> well, yeah. It's yeah, what's the last time? They, they yeah. actually do get one shot. They're all super yeah. fell. There oh, is. my God. Oh, paint. You need at least two paint. Okay. Negative. That's why you shoot that shit. Network. And that doesn't help you, though. Nope. Yeah, he's realizing network doesn't help. It's dead. Good lord. You wish it had contingency protocol right now. <clears throat> and contingency protocol would be so good if it was, if it was uh, not locked to standard loadouts. Indeed. At least gets to shoot. 
<laughs> Andre just said in the game chat, I tried. And we thinking ever flying tries again. The one that gets to take strains to reroll its greens is pretty good, but that's about it. I actually don't mind the standard loadout Flak R Fox because they can uh they can barrel roll white evade with if they're close to a scenario reaction. And Volan's decent. I do believe he flipped a Mag pulse? Yeah, it was a mag, mag pulse. pulse. So the jams that reinforce off. Reinforce is gone. <clears throat> that that is could be huge. Pretty big. A mag pulse grab was a good call on uh on the tries here, since you know you're facing Empire. Uh, you got a lock. Yeah. No. 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 Oh, he calculated last time. That's right. Yeah. You gotta get at least one more shield. You have to. Yeah, shock TA1 is great. I mean, you've got... There's still what? There's still... Uh, red still gets to shoot. Yellow still gets to shoot. The uh, hyena still gets to shoot. What is happening? What are they doing with this guy? Okay. Yeah, I mean, Andre still has four more shots. Yeah, and the, assuming the uh, vulture doesn't die to a range zero... For, oh, no, range one from Deathfire, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, he gets to shoot first. Never mind. There you go. Can't modify, though. He is blinded. But who, who needs, needs it? it? Who needs it? Two crits going in. Hit, crit, crit. First crit, Ooh. a weapons failure on the already Huge. deployed. Oh, oh yes! That's oh, what we're talking about. Oh, I love to see it. Oh, man. Hull breach I coming in that her. early. The early hull breach is my favorite hull breach. Things are about to hurt. Yeah, DFS 081 is going off. This is obstructed range three. Does he have a lock? He does not have a lock. That's unfortunate. <coughs> well, it'll just be two dice. Yeah, plasma would have been great the, here. But... The classic 2v2 oh. here, but the Desi has no mods. No one's saying D GG, like the fact that the, uh, just forgetting the fact that the uh, DIA ships have been one shot constantly. <laughs> yeah. Completely one shot the whole time. You need a crit chain for a lot, like for any kind of hope of survival here. All right, the red gun ship does have the... concussion missiles. Oh yeah, concuss that bad boy. Won't turn anything over, but you get that extra die. Ugh, uh, well, no calculate, so we roll it all. You've got three locks. Yeah, go for it. <coughs> And you can spend a friend. Oh, he, he cannot. He doesn't have network. He has network to aim, not network calculate. Lamb. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, I thought that was damage sensor array. I was like, oh, he never gets to reinforce again. That'd be like, that'd be huge. <laughs> yeah, that was a little the power depressing. Regulator. And then uh, this is nothing death from death fire. Fire. Oh, he took a lock. Reroll. Hit crit. I could do it. Pretty good. But it won't. Nutties. But it won't. DFS, baby. What a hero. All right, yellow gunship. What you got? Nothing uh, but two, two die, die banger. <laughs> big two die banger. Is he in the front arc? Oh, yeah. So uh, Rax can get a, a lock after this? Or the yellow gunship gets a free lock that he already has? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Cool. Uh, yeah, just try that again. A little Han Solo action here. Oh, he's got one character. But yeah, just reroll one. There you go. There you go. And two crits go going for two. in. Rack can't roll out of it. Two more crits. None have been doubled Blinded. yet. Oh, Blinded blind and loose. Ooh. Jesus Christ. And then another one's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. And that points. There you go. Racks down to six. We got yeah. the vulture or the buzz. Buzz buzz. And it finally a direct into another, another blinded. Oh my god, this is the best. Cat Cat, thank you for the sub. Nothing about nothing against Sevwall. It's just really funny to see, like constant crits going into big like. Yeah, I mean it's fucking objectively the best.
It's just so objectively great when that happens. Just watch the chaos ensue. Yeah, Vulture Jord does better because Vulture Jord's are just better. I mean, that's yeah, they're truly just it. They're just better. Try fighters, leave them at home. More vulture droids, less tri fighters. That's the lesson here. Red alert! All hands to battle stations. At least you get a point. Engage. That was turn three. So as we enter turn four, eight to five. Yeah, it's eight to five. So the good thing, if you're Andre, is Rack is very killable next turn. Yeah. The bad news is none of the other ships have been hit. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You can't lose a ship per turn and then get Rack in four turns. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Rack is... Oh, God, Rack. You, you almost at this point have to commit, like... You, you gotta hope you kill Rack early enough that you can then use your other ships to shoot other targets. Yeah. The other thing about Rexler's position here is I don't think he's got a lot of great places to go. I think he's probably gonna bump. Um, can Rack do anything? He can one straight. He can one straight and repair one of his many, many damage cards. Yeah, he can what one straight kind of repair something. Probably loose, right? So you can try to, like, bank out of this next turn. Or you can just... Yeah, you could just, uh, three bank left. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Concussion missiles could make direct come back up. <laughs> Rack could three bank left and then take another face up damage. That is the problem, right? It's like, sure, you get out of there, but then you also take a face up damage and you're probably still getting shot. Can the HMPs one hard? No, right? Yes. They cannot. They cannot one hard. Oh, not HMPs. The Vultures can. Vultures. Yeah, yeah. The, the Vultures, the Hyenas can, the Tries can, <clears throat> the HMPs cannot. I think it's too hard from yellow is still fine. Guys, can we talk about how much I'm loving my phone right now? I really got you... into like the customization what kind aspect. Of phone do you have? Uh Samsung S23 Ultra. Nice. Oh, HMPs can stop. Good good call, Noah. You could absolutely stop this turn. You could stop, but again, don't you need mods? I mean, you've got locks. No, I'm. I mean, like Vader. Oh well, you got health. <laughs> but I think the red, the red HMP does like a one bank, or like a. I guess the one bank's red, so I guess just two bank maybe. Two bank take a calc. Two straight with pink tri fighter, two bank with the thirty two C or something. It's just yellow. I'm looking at, and I'm thinking too hard is a little close to that rock. You might be fine. Yeah, looking at it again, I think you're fine. It'll be tight. Now, Deathfire shouldn't be able to do the thing again, right? No, it's two charges. <clears throat> yeah, you it's two spend charges. Gotta wait. Yeah. Yeah, so it's every other turn. So that's at least adv advantageous for you here is you're not going to get obliterated by a bomb with your whole list. Yeah, and you're not going to Connor net right now because you would just end up Connor netting yeah. Max or Shiranu. Yeah. I'm thinking 08 one just too what, hard. What quick, what quick do you block. even fix? If, like, this is assuming Shiranu can... Ooh, stabilizer. So you can three bank out of uh, there. Where, I mean, well, how, how are you going straight and clearing? Dauntless. Da you just dauntless. Oh, you're going to dauntless straight. it? Okay, yeah, fair. Yeah. Straight in the next turn, like, you either fix whole breach or lose stabilizer. Both of those are real bad. 
Because if he's not loose right now, right? He three banks out of there. He takes a <clears throat> repairs the hall breach and maybe gets to live. Yeah. But I think there's... You could just repair weapons failure. And just try to hit hard before you die. Yeah, you could. I mean, that's... The question is, do you accept death on rack right now? Because you have five health remaining. There's another mag pulse coming your way if you're if you reinforce, so it may not even be that worth it. I think you just try to trade. I think you just repair the weapons and just try to kill them. And kill something. Are we moving uh, the probe droids? Survey says... Yeah. Interesting move that way. I'd move towards Rexler. I'm honest, but... I'm also not a big probe droid player, so maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, two hard fits. Better than I thought. I thought it was going to be closer. The only reason I'm on the fixed weapon failure right now is I just don't think there's anything worth... I think he's dead. I think regardless of what happens, he's just fucking dead. So just try to do what you can on the way out. This could be setting up a friendly bump on rack here. Here's here's a bold idea. I don't think I don't think you could actually pull it off. But if you could get behind rack, you might not be able to place a probe droid, in which case you would then have to just take the damage, which of course would be face up. And, well, it would also impact the other <laughs> ship that you're hitting. It does damage to both if it's an enemy ship. I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. I, thought, I think that's how that works. Can't remove the stress to take the calculate. So just finding that out. But now if Rack goes nowhere, which is pretty likely, that's just staying on the front. Yeah. Uh, tried to... F oh, bank right. There you go. <clears throat> Going for the jam. Jam and Rack, just in case he tries to do something... Clever. Yeah, now Rack's almost guaranteed to fix weapons failure, I think. You have to. Discord only hits the thing it's on. Okay, there you go. I like that block setup for 32C. I think it's a really good position. Rexler will still be able to barrage, but he won't be able to juke. Yeah, that block the straight and the bank. I love that. That was very nice, and I don't think that you want to stress yourself here, so I wouldn't. No, the 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 dial's not. You got you got a little health to play with. You can't modify at range zero. Worst that happens, you take two shields. That's fine. Yeah, you're not the target right now. You're fine with that. Yeah. With the blues, like I wouldn't have jammed. Use mag pulse. I don't think. Uh, what does Mag Pulse get you right now? Yeah, I think you just try to take him out as in uh, as in as few yeah. shots as you can, right? Like try to use. He's already depleted with a weapons failure. I think. Well, he's gonna. I think he's gonna one straight clear the deplete. But he'll still be weapons failure. I mean, yeah, I think at this point. Okay. So. Oh. Now that's gonna blow up and hit both of them. I think. No, we just hit. Tamox, according to uh, planning phase, just hits the ship that is carrying it since it can't fit on either way. What does it does it not care about enemy overlaps? I, I fucking or uh, friendly overlaps? I don't know how probes or these work. I'll overlap an object, yeah. So it can't be placed either way. It's just going to do one damage to Tamox, which I think you're kind of okay with, right? Yeah, that, that kind of saved you a bit. This is a friendly bump into... Uh... Oh, he's on top of a buzz droid. He shouldn't be. And another damage. And it's face and up. It's face up. A wounded pilot. So now doing the red action becomes pretty dangerous. Well, I mean, he's dead either way. <laughs> I think, again, yeah. Repairs the weapons failure. Just commits to it. Have to roll for wounded. 
Okay, didn't take it. <clears throat> um, it wasn't on rack. It, uh, Tomox moved over it, so Tomox had to take it. Yeah. The the one that says it's oh, there's one stuck under rack they couldn't access, which is why it said it was overlapping rack, the buzz droid still. Yeah. Flag gonna get one shot from rack historically, yes. Is he just doing a damage on the blinded uh, oh wait one yep. now? Yeah. That seems fine. Just try to do something here. <clears throat> yeah, I think I probably still would have gone against pink, but... Yeah, Vader. I, yeah, I would have Vader pink and then shot him, to be honest. Yep. Take out take out the big guns while you can. There's a chance pink just finishes off Rack by himself, though. It's not a great chance, but it is a chance. Yeah. Alright. Here it is. Range one. Pink range one. Just need a full string. You got a lock. I think you spend the lock on all of it mathematically. Yeah, I would. There it is. Well, oh. I mean, three crits, right? Networked. Steal that bitch. Three crits looking for one double damage. Panic. Panic. Stunned. Stunned. Fuck that. And direct. Here we go. Direct. Damage ah. sensor array. <laughs> Alright, well. Shoot with DFS 081 first and hope the range zero <laughs> kills Rack. I mean, taking one direct. There's five in yeah. the deck. Not even a fuel leak. Every card, yeah. Every, Every card was face up. Yeah. Every single card was face up. And he didn't take he took one direct. That is mathematically not very uh it's not, not very likely. likely. Yeah. <laughs> he took a third he took a third of the damage deck and only got one fifth of the uh directs. <clears throat> Who is this into? Uh it is into the, the hyena. Just take him on. That's probably fine. Yeah, because I get the range one on pink. You want to keep that calculate on the, the the good gun. Two, not bad. Hey, Ooh, finally a tri fighter rolls an evade. Never thought I'd see the day. <clears throat> yeah, just rack keep, now. Keep into it. You know it's not gonna happen twice in a row. Just natty. Four crits. Here we go. He's double blinded. He can't see out of either <laughs> eye. Yeah. <laughs> he gets all his dice, though. That's what matters. Yeah. I don't know what I'm shooting at, but I'm going to shoot a lot at it. Only one. Pink Those will are... survive. Spend it. I swear to God, if you don't spend, you spend this. Spend that shit. They've already checked Rexler's arc. They know Rexler doesn't have him. Oh, is uh, he going to ruthless? Is he going to ruthless for two? Oh, my God. Well, yeah, there's... Would Andre get to re-roll? I don't see why. I mean, you oh, should... because you have to ruthless first, and then <clears throat> yeah, I just might not have given him time. That's true. I don't think you you, you haven't done any damage to that. You don't ruthless that ship yet. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just spend it. Forget it. Uh, you also are gonna kind of need your defender here coming up. Yeah, you need that gun to be fully healthy. All right. All right, range zero. Can he do it? Did they skip Just Rexler? Just need one. Doesn't nope. get it. Fuck you with the horse you rode in on. <laughs> All right, you can go with red. Red's got him. Rex is side zero. Thank you. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Now this is three dice with two re-rolls. Looking if for you can't one find a hit. hit. There it is. Thank Goodbye. God. Two more crits. Is it a direct? Another hole breach. Hole breach. <laughs> and oh finally a fuel leak. The game is tied. We have a tie ball game. 
I'm just leaving up all that damage. Good. All right, try to sneak a damage through. Can you do it? Yes. Ooh, you can. See, now that would be two shields on the decimator that you desperately need now. If you had ruthless. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's I gonna definitely be a range cannot afford zero. Though. Yellow so far undamaged. Also, so far has not used Kalani. He could have used it last turn. Well, I spoke too soon. Two shields. Blink, blink. Shield was down. That's what it says. Nice. Okay, well. Do you shoot Tamox, I guess? He's taking the damage already? Yeah. You're all in on Tamox here, I would suppose. Yeah. It's range one instead of range zero. Just... I would just take the range one, so I wouldn't worry about focusing right now. Yeah. Well, neither one is like you've shot. You haven't shot at either one yet. There you go. Spend a count. Do it. And I think he gets a lock on him. I think it's in the front arc. Yeah, I would say so. Probably. Hopefully he remembers. Oh, it goes. Half points. All one. <coughs> Does he remember the lock? He does. Does. Uh, oh, it one's a really fun little ship. Good little HMP. Does a three hard on Rexler fit? I I would not risk that three hard. Yeah, I don't think I'd do that. I would just three bank boost if you really want to. And they'll each gain a point at the end uh, of that round. Again, this is only the fourth round. So no, he shot at uh. He, he shot at Tamox, uh, Noah, and it gives him a strain out of the fleet. He didn't shoot at red, it was into Tamox. Into yellow. So Andre has taken the 11 to 10 lead. This game is far from over. There's an ion bomb coming from Tamox next turn, which could be a problem for these droids. That I don't know how you avoid. Yeah, that stress should be on that one. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, but now, thankfully, Death Troopers are off the board. Well, that's an excellent point. You could just stop. It doesn't help red or pink. Pink has to kind of like. <clears throat> Is Prim having a stroke when he says two max? Tomox? Say say what Tomox. To Tomox? Say it again. Tomox. Oh, I kind of see what we'll say. Do you? You, right. you have like a real emphasis on the toe. Well, far be it from <clears> someone <throat> from Louisiana to judge how other people talk. Uh, does Deathfire drop the Connor? Oh, yeah, you absolutely drop that Connor net here. 100% you drop that shit. Curious about your well being. Yeah, whatever, man. I think Toe Max is gonna drop himself an ion bomb this turn. Is that better? Just mumble French. That's what that's what Scooter speaks. Fucking mumble, mumble French. French. I think to me, Boomhauer from King of the Hill is like the best parody of that accent. I fucking love that character so much. What you talking about? Dang. Tomato? Potato? Potato? Tomato? Tomatoa. Bumble French? Not even this Quebecer knows what Greg is talking about. Have you heard of Cajun? No, he's from Quebec. He clearly hasn't. <clears throat> I don't know what the correct way to say caramel is. I say both caramel and caramel. I don't it, know 100% which one is which. depends on the sense. Okay. <clears throat> if it's if it's a sentence where it's easier to say caramel, I'll say caramel. If it's a sentence where it's easier to say caramel, i say caramel. That's kind of what I do. It's just like whatever seems easier at the time is what I will say. Exactly. That's what that okay. is. Is that? Okay. Okay. 
Caramel. Yeah, caramel. Caramel. Sounds like a good Caramel. Con. All right. In the event that uh, 081 isn't dead, he'll have a probably a pretty good shot at Rexler. Well, the Connor net will kill him, right? Yeah, I'm just saying if he doesn't shoot, if he chooses not to f- toss the Connor net out. Why would you? I don't know. He forgets. I'm not saying mean? it's likely. <clears throat> yeah. Jamo, basically, Cajun is mumble French. And they eat mumble food as well. Cajun food is basically go to your fridge, throw everything into broth, call it something different than soup. Gazpacho, gumbo. J dubs. <laughs> this is fucking expensive. Am I not wrong, though? I'm not fucking wrong. j Dubs, thank you for the gifted sub to Sith Taker Dave. <coughs> Kill Mumble oh, no. Rumble. It's pretty good. Let's go Mumble Rumble. It's pretty good. Hey, Will, when's the last time you Mumble Rumble? Oh, you can't just ask him that. You know it's been too long. <laughs> He uses Bumble to get his hookups for his Mumble Rumbles. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And there it is. Uh, see, see you, buddy. See you, buddy. Oh, it won. Unless Tamox wants to take the damage. Nope, not going to be friendly. Uh, One extra point. Tie ball game. And just gonna straight back with the iron bomb seems fine. Yeah, that seems fine. The truck riders have one talons, if I'm not mistaken. They do have one talons. Yeah, it doesn't really help you here. And the bomb's gonna ionize himself. I think. <coughs> Deathfire is fine with that. Probably. I just think it's kind of funny. Uh, just barrel, barrel so roll. get on that rock next turn. Yeah. When you do an ion maneuver, can you side? You, know, you can't no, side slip it. You cannot. No, you can't. That's not how that works. <laughs> so barrel roll for sure. Yeah. Hopefully, Andre knows. Andre probably does not know. <clears throat> well, you'll find out. Maybe maybe you think someone make left will clear. Does he have a jam on the action bar? He does have a red jam on the action bar. Interesting. Any Punisher spot of the season? I think your Whoa. best bet is to somehow convince Jammin to not be Republican, be... Probably. I mean, Jammin flies a Punisher better than anyone I've ever seen. It's fucking annoying. Jammin flies most things better than anyone I've seen. Let's and be honest here. Fucking annoying. I hope. Does he have an invite? He, Is he? No. Maybe. I hope he gets. I hope he gets to go to Worlds <laughs> this year. I think he. Uh, he, he he deserves to be in that competition. I think. I don't know why Noah's throwing shade at someone who's clearly had a lot of success. But okay. Jammin can even fly off the board better than anyone. No, I mean, I think Noah's referring to that time he flew some tier off the board and then still won the game. In like turn two. Let's see. Let's see. I think that was a compliment. I don't think that was shade. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> the lock is going to go away, bud. So, well, it's not the... Uh, I got you now. Here's the thing with an evade. Gets a focus. Got a barrage rocket coming at uh, 32C. I 
Red Calculate? Oh, no, he tried the K turn. I see. Ions for days. And just everyone loses their locks. No more locks. Goodbye, locks. My goal is to play a resistance bomber before the end of the season. I like resistance. I think bombers. they're pretty good. They're I mean the five the five point ones are pretty good. I think Finch is really good. I like Finch the, uh, and Page. I don't know if Finch Page, Page fits is, anymore. It does. I flew that at um the store that uh uh Crispy's family goes to. Do they do a bunch of extended stuff? Oh, down there the Barrage them. Rocket Natties. Owies. One crit. Loose stabilizer. Fuel. Well, at least it's that order. Why didn't he spend his calculate? For he one? doesn't have one. He jammed. He jammed the defender instead. Oh. Um. No, I flew Finch with Paige, and it was really fun. He, it's. It's really hard to keep Finch alive, but if you can do it and then just carpet bomb, it's really funny. I'm a big bomber fan. I love those lumbering beasts. Hit crit and of course. Freaking natties, man. The bomber. <clears throat> At least you got a range one shot with a reroll. Yep. Range one, one reroll, and one calculate. Can we do a damage? Just try that reroll. Boop. Well, hit crit. Get the crit in. Damaged engine doesn't really help you here. Unfortunately. <coughs> the still gets to shoot in the Tomax. 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 Alright, the range is zero shot. It's still pretty good, 2v1. Like, it's still a good shot. Like, yeah. Kind of annoys me how good of a shot that is. Yeah, that's the problem with one agility right now, is one agility just really suffers from range zero. That is the last of the shields. One more to half points. Ooh, hey, hit crit. Hit crit. That could do it. But it Fuck won't. you. It could, but it uh, won't. These bombers, man. Unreal. And Sevwall retakes the lead. Denied. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. When the dice do, like, the... They, they pick a vector, and the vector is just, like, the straight up and down, whatever. Yeah. I did do a YouTube video on how TTS does dice rolling. That is something you're interested in. Long story short, it's actually a really good approximation of human rolling, but it's not truly random. Which also, human rolling is not truly random because you have yourself. Have you seen? <coughs> Go ahead. Have you seen the way Catherine rolls? Sorry, just talking about human rolling. No. The way Catherine rolls dice is one of the funniest ways. Like. It's just so funny to watch because what she does is she'll shake. Like, I think it's pretty effective at getting it random. Mm -hmm. So she, like, you know, closed hand, rolls them, shakes them up. Then we'll, like, with her palm, like, facing up, right? She shakes it. Then we'll close her hand, flip it so her palm is now facing down, and kind of throw them on the table. So you kind of have, like, a, a roll to shake it up, and then, like, you also get the the forcible, like, projection <clears throat> down to also, like, shake it up. That's a craps roll? No, it can't be a craps roll. You can't close to... your hand. Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to close your hand. They will call no roll on you so fast, and then this guy walks up to you and is like, hey, bud, uh, can't can't close your hand on the dice. That's, uh, That's a good uh, way to not have a hand anymore. not allowed. Also, I'm uh, I'm a lot bigger than you are. Just uh, <laughs> appropriate nothing. Just kind of saying that out loud right now. Um <clears throat> And the proton bomb drop, I think, is kind of risky because Deathfire, I think, is taking it, right? Can Deathfire bank over that? He's, he's ionized as well. I don't think he gets over DGS. I think if he banks over it, he 
hits a rock. Yeah, I think I he's think you have to go left to to fit. Yeah. So if I'm yellow, I'm staying there. Yeah. Oh uh, well. Yellow stressed. Nope. Never mind. Yellow's going first. I've got yellow went first too. Not that risky. Um, you can't do squat, so I guess just calculate and hold on. Yeah, just calculate because you're gonna lose your lock. Yeah. There you go. One straight. Yeah, see, if yellow had stopped... He was stressed. He couldn't stop. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, I thought he wasn't stressed either until I saw it at the end. Bummer. Bummer. All right, Andre at least knew about the ion there and not tried to slide slip, slide slip around it. Yeah, I mean, that cleared with a bunch of room, but also you're going to take a... You're going to take the bombs. Do you flip that? I would almost flip the flip the side slip thing down. Uh, he just take he's just dead. Andre, no, not like this, bud. <laughs> oh. oh, Andre just killed uh just killed thirty two C. The classic forgot about the loose stabilizer. Two more points for a wild bill. Wolf yeah. pack over here. I think Andre's just running out of firepower to keep up. Yeah, I think it's probably over now. Especially with another ion coming into this tri fighter. Yeah, the and a I wouldn't hate if like a loose stabilizer would kill you if you did like the stress maneuver instead. Like if it's like you couldn't kill yourself with a loose stabilizer. But I also think there's probably situations where you actually kind of want to die if you have, like, Dead Man Switch or something that takes advantage of death. So, I don't know. This, uh, this Proton Bomb is about to be, like, super tasty. Yeah, I think you're getting all three of those ships right there. <clears throat> all three of the remaining CAS ships will be taking it. No, it does not help his tri fighters couldn't roll worth a darn at the beginning of the game. I mean, Pink's dead. That is true. Next turn. Probably. Yeah, you're going over that rock. All right, so crits for yellow. It's a console fire. Half points. And if it's a direct on pink, pink's just dead. Red takes a shield. Pink? Struck. Oh. <laughs> Structural. Yeah, that's bad. I think these bombs are going to be what does it for him here. <clears throat> I think the bombs just seal the deal. Yeah. And honestly, like, Andre stuck in it for a long time, given how bad that initial opening was, just in terms of luck, right? Not, like, in terms of he played it poorly, just in terms of he got effed <laughs> by uh, a really sad green dice. Oh, Rexley. Buddy. Yeah, well, that guarantees pink dies next turn. Yeah, have mercy. And juke one of them. No, he doesn't have the... Oh, there you go. And it's direct. He's dead. Okay, well, fuck. Fuck the... Fuck He's the over. Thing. Yeah, that'll be it. That'll be the game. <clears throat> yeah, they all got ionized and protoned. But three points plus the one in the middle, that'll do it. Your only hope here is if yellow can somehow snipe Tom or Tomax and just get some extra points. That's all you're yeah, going for now. That's pretty right. much it. You just want those extra points. See if you can get two on Tomax and maybe kill him. You just gotta get two hits into two blanks. Oh, good Those start. Hits. Bomber roll blanks. Nope, mm. not enough. Oh, do you not take a focus? Uh, you oh. should have. All right, oh, well. Maybe, maybe it's just donating a point for funsies. All just right. Just one G. Just one G from Andre. Right? <laughs> yeah, two one G's. G. Good. One G. <laughs> Good. It's Good. over. <laughs> Andre, uh, he really stayed in it. I will give him that. He really stayed in that game after game. Well, there was a point like where he was up and then just couldn't yeah. keep up the fire without dying. Those bombs, man, that they, they just were able to get in there and finally do yeah. their thing. Also hilarious though. Just this 
absolutely yeah. hilarious on Rack. Yeah. <clears throat> At least you have the moral victory of making every card face up on Rack. Indeed. All right, well, at the end of six rounds, Sevwall remains undefeated in the NTX Draft League regular season. A 20 to 15 victory. We'll be back in just a minute with game two. Let's get the last word. And now for the last word with Buster Sky Spudger. And remember, folks, we witnessed today that it's not about how many times you get knocked down, but how many times you get back up. Keep your heads held high. This is the game of life. Make it count. For NCX, I'm Buster Skyspudger.